Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You join me here as it is bright and early on the weekend, actually. We're going to do a little bit of work this morning, just around about. But before we get to the main job for this morning, we'll have a bit of a walk through the uh, through the farm as it stands right now. There is a lot of work happening in the last few days based off what happened in the last episode there where we have... Well, we've got a we've got a, a contract pending to be signed, and we've got a lot of work to do with it. Uh, so we're gonna kind of review what that looks like for some of the productivity that we need to reach. Uh, but the hens looking good. Good morning, ladies. Uh, they're okay. Uh, in front of us here is the last of the the crew who are here to remove the shed. You'll see this Dutch barn has been lowered. They actually managed to take this down, and then they're. Uh, They've got the, well, we'll show you where the rest of it's gone, but they're going to have to dismantle this, put it onto the trailer and take it over to the yard. So that's exciting. Didn't take too long to get done. Let's get that gate shot here. I plow this over. We're going to put this into a little bit of a patch for some root crops. I'm thinking we're just going to stack a load of potatoes into there. Uh, and then that'll be, um, that'll be part of our, uh, our harvest range, which is great. Um, bee is, bees are doing their thing, the orchard is coming along nicely, we've got a lot of sunshine at the moment which is going very well for all things, especially for the uh, the fruit trees here, that's coming along very nicely indeed. Um, greenhouse wise, we have got three in production now, we're doing whole leaf lettuce on the far side, we just do need to keep those guys topped up. Uh, this is going to be our, our garden tractor really, our, our, our uh, our orchard field tractor and it's going to be keeping uh, this is a new cultivator for us actually just picked this up the other day haven't really used it yet I'm going to use it on the uh, on the land there for potatoes soon enough and this bogey is going to just be for moving water around uh, I did pick up one final greenhouse so this was going to be specifically for onions I'm waiting for another big uh, water system to arrive for this one uh, but I managed to pick this frame up for not a lot the water system has cost me quite a bit of money though I will say that uh, but yeah, these guys are all ready to go, so we'll hopefully start to see some production and some growth out of those. Uh, which is really exciting, actually. Nice to see that, I mean, this field's had a lot of investment so far. Should hopefully start to see that come back to fruition. Uh, and really start to get something out of it, which would be pretty nice to see. Uh, coming back through to the main yard here, though. Uh, get this little gate opened up, we'll keep that open for the day. This is where the other half of the shed went. I uh, mentioned we're going to bring the shed into here that we could, so we could use it to store hay in and maybe some equipment. And as you can see, they've uh, they've managed to do half the work, really. So they've got the, uh, they've got the legs in there and they put the tin sheet in. I thought they'd left that till last, but clearly not. Clearly they want to go ahead and get it done there. So that's good. It's in. That's the main thing there. And again, yeah, looking forward to getting this all done and dusted. So that gives some space. As you can see, though... I've got the Fiat all ready to roll with the mower on the back there. That's what we're going to be jumping into uh, pretty shortly. We want to get some work done with that. Uh, there's some ground of ours next to some of the spring barley fields that it has some grass in. I'm not really sure how good the grass is. So what I'm going to do is just bale it uh, and get it wrapped up as well and put it into silage, I think, just so we can get rid of it. Because I might reseed that grass once it's been uh, stripped clear, but it's can't really do it yet, so... Uh, obviously we're going to see what's in there there's a lot of rubbish in there, there's a lot of bushes that need to be taken care of so we'll probably just have to put a bit of time and effort this summer into re-establishing that field to make it make it look a little bit better really and tidy it all up uh, but like I say, this will be the first time out with us for the mower there, so we'll see how we get on with it anyway and uh, see if there's anything else that we need to, to, to think about for that, but this should be quite good uh, our trailer arrived this arrived late last night. Uh, I've got a local farm to go and haul it back for I'm a, from a farm sale. It is a Marston trailer. It's about, I think if you push me, I could bring about uh, 10 ton of wheat in there. Uh, 12 ton of uh, barley, I think it is, give or take. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it's looking pretty good. And I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, it's, it's an improvement from what we had for sure there. Looks a treat on the fall, I'm sure you will agree. Uh, it's looking really, really good. Uh, but like I mentioned there, there's, you can see there's a lot of grass around here at the moment. Everything's growing very, very well. And it's uh, getting to the point now where this little paddock here may want to be uh, have one cut taken. It's it's looking a bit stalky, so I don't think we'll get much more growth. We might just have to cut it and see how it looks. Uh, but yeah, everything else is looking okay here. Barley's coming along, wheat's coming along. Uh, and we should see some progress out of that fairly soon, one would hope. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll get cracking really. Uh we do have all of our own, uh, we don't have a bale wrapper, we have all of our own equipment though to get this baled, raked and, or mowed, raked and baled. 
So we will be looking to do that. Uh, it's a nice warm day, like I said, it's nice and early. We're going to mow this down today, and then we'll probably see how we get on there. We might leave the rest of it for the, uh, just for a day. We'll see what the weather looks like when we're uh, tomorrow morning there, just to see if it's going to have sufficiently long enough to, uh, to dry out, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and we're going to take this over there anyway. I want to get this done now whilst we can, because uh, the the eventual production side of things is going to take on uh, quite a lot of work. Uh, as you may remember there, Mr. Lansdowne came to see me just the other day, and we were able to... Um, I was able to get, get back in touch with his associates there, and I am awaiting the contract. But I do have yet to receive any money. The money should be coming soon, but it's going to allow me to get going there. Uh, it's kind of expedited my ideas of what I want to do. Uh, and we're going to get that hopefully done sooner rather than later. So um, I want to start getting some production out of that field. That's going to be key. One of the things that we'll be looking to get to do that is going to be we need another small little building really just to be able to uh, for the, uh, the machine that we're going to use to separate honey. From the uh, from the honeycomb, and uh, I need to think about how that's going to work and what we can use for that or where we could put it. But yeah, that will be something we'll be doing. So that's kind of exciting. There, so we just need to kind of really piece all this together. Uh, the barley on the other side of this hedge is coming through nicely. Very happy with that, uh, and I'm hoping that we. It's looking pretty clean so far. We don't need to put anything into it just yet. So I'm hoping that it kind of stays the same and continues. Uh, but yeah, let's have a quick peek through here so you can see. Yeah, and there you go, looking nice indeed. Uh, good soil around here for it though. There is, um, it's a very rich fertile soil which is always uh, very, very handy. Uh, now then, I can't quite see what's coming here. Let's see, let's creep out a little bit. We're going to go this way. Uh, and we're only just going kind of around the corner here where we'll... Um, I'll show you what I mean by the quality of this grassland. We just have to kind of do a bit of uh, restoration work on the land. Get it pulled back around to what we'd like it to be. So uh, it should make us... It'll be a good field. It's going to be a good pasture. This is a very small area of it that we, is actually accessible now. So I don't know if I can get away by just mowing down the shrubs like we did in the yard there. Or if we have to do a little bit more work to it. It's something that we'll have to look into. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to come over this little ford here again. Get the wheels washed off. There we go. Yeah, looking forward to getting this field put to a bit of work. It's, yes, it's done a load of work, but it hasn't really had any PTO work to do of such, so nothing serious, that's for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a nice looking day though. We're really starting to get into a good, um, slightly warmer spring as well, which is good. I'm um, hoping to see uh, the greenhouses really start to come into the row in there. Uh, the next greenhouse that we're building right now is going to be for onions at the moment there. So we're going to have tomatoes, lettuce and onions growing, which is, uh, which is really quite exciting. Okay, through we come. This was the last field that we drilled. I got this drilled up just the other day, actually. This has got some oat, spring oats into it. Something that we haven't really... Uh, didn't really think I was going to do, but got a good opportunity there. So I uh, figured probably worth a, uh, worth a look at. Bounce, bounce. So how have you all been anyway? I hope everyone is doing fantastically well. Do let us know down below what you're getting on with and let me know if you have any ideas of how else we can continue to diversify a little bit. Uh, obviously the introduction of Mr. Lans Lans down there is going to be great. Uh, I am due to meet him I think in the next episode when we catch up we're going to be having a bit more of an update on what he what we're going to be bringing to his services there and, and what that's going to look like so stay tuned for that one. Right now, though, yeah, it's just a case of me trying to get other work done whilst I wait to sign the paperwork, and we'll see what that looks like. Uh, this is the grass field in question. As you can see, there are an awful lot of just bushes everywhere, frankly. Um, it gets a little bit better further down. This land up here is, it gets a bit wet. I think it floods quite a bit from this little um, stream here. So it does have, like a lot of these shrubs here, we need to kind of figure out what's going to happen. Uh, but what I'm going to do is come in and tidy up the bit I can do down the bottom here. If anything else, it's more of just a good test to see how the, well the mower works first. Because, uh, yeah, I want to utilize the rest of this field. Uh, I'm going to keep it. It's going to be a permanent pasture. But I think it can just be in a better state than, than it is right now, to be honest there. So uh, we'll have to see. But for now, I think all we can really do is just have a quick blast with the mower, see what this is going to look like, and uh, we can take it from there. So this bit here is probably maybe about four acres-ish. 
that is usable oh but an entire field with a stream run down the middle of it which is probably about nine or ten so there's definitely a lot we can do there's definitely something i want to do uh just need to kind of get this all under control that's flowing river though that's for sure But anyway, we're going to get this going. Uh, so yeah, take a couple of laps out of this, knock this grass down, and then we'll, like I say, we can walk it onto Balen nice and quickly there, and we'll see how the rest of it's going. Maybe some of these bushes look like we can just shred them, actually, and see where it goes from there. That might be the best way to start with. Uh, and then we'll see. I'd like to maybe... I am toying with the idea of getting... Uh, as we just follow this out, getting some horse grass going or something like that. We'll make some horse hay just so we can really try and capitalize on that market because I think that could be a huge opportunity there. Uh, although to do that, I'd probably want to try and find a square baler, maybe. Yeah, that could be uh, the other option, so uh, I don't know about that yet, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Let's see how I can get this started up for now, though. Uh, should just be on here. That sounds promising. I haven't really done too much with this more. I've had it fired over once before, uh, just to see if it was uh, working properly. Um, and let's have a look, see... How it goes. Nothing, when it comes to old mowers like this, nothing quite works well, like uh, just putting it to work and getting it sh uh, getting the shine back on the metal, really. Which hopefully is going to be the case. Yeah, it seems to be coming through. There's not a great deal to it, but it's, uh, it's mowing. That's the main thing. Uh, that's not looking too bad. Look at the speed we're able to knock up here. Wonderful. Perfect. So yeah, we're going to get this all done. Hopefully it's not take us too long. And then uh, onwards we go. And of course, we're probably going to do... I don't know, eight, probably nine headlands actually. Uh, of this small little field. By which point there won't be much left in there at all. Uh, and we'll go around here. But yeah, you can see. Uh, if you have any suggestions on ways that we can get rid of some of this, this, uh, the, the bush around here. That'd be great. We're gonna, we can certainly get this all pulled back. I just need a real heavy duty topper, I think. There we go. I am also looking into at the moment there. We are obviously we just have hens. I'm looking into trying and get the the, the, sh the sheep aspect sorted out soon. I think I have an idea of which uh, of the sheep that we're going to go for. Um, I'm looking to bring in a mixture of a variety. Of, uh, breed of sheep that will bring us both good uh, yielding um, uh, good yielding wool uh, which we can, there's a few industries around here that I want to try and tap into with a supply of, of wool for their various different production but also I want a good uh, good good uh, breed of carcass really good meat so we're going to be looking into that one I think we're going to be um, hopefully once we get that shed moved over I have an idea for a, a temporary uh, sheep shed so we need to try and get that worked out as quickly as we can but that shed was just the one thing that was kind of blocking me in there really so hopefully like i say we should be good there uh, and then we'll see where we look but uh, ultimately if you have any other suggestions about that i'll be all ears to hear it there we go get around that corner it's not even a too bad little swath there actually it's only a five foot wide mower there so it's um obviously not the biggest but yeah it's cracking along we'll, we'll make short work of this we haven't got too much grass to do of our own at the moment there, so uh, we will be making a lot of hay when the time comes, but we're just not quite there yet. There we go. So perfect, we're going to keep going. I do have a, a drone with me. I'll try and take some uh, a little bit of a time lapse as we crack on with this, so you can see the, the Fiat working in all, all its glory from, from up high. And uh, we'll see how we get going there. So we'll come back to you all in just a little bit.
as we blasted around some headlands and made a few mistakes along the way because turns out mowing and flying the drone is not the easiest but hey we've uh we've made a little bit of progress here this will be knocked down on the ground for only about a day or so like i mentioned there and hopefully uh, another four or five headlands there'll not be much left of this at all so we're gonna leave this here for now thank you ever so much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed i have been alex uh, this has been the latest update on Saving Grandad's Farm, which I think is coming along very nicely indeed. I hope you do agree. We'll see you all in the next one. Till then, though, have yourself a great day, folks. Enjoy what you're doing as always, and we will see you all later. Catch you then.